Sorry to keep you. Just one moment. Thank you. Okay, we have Foreign Secretary Johnson on the line. So if I connect you, can you put your Prime Minister on? Okay, just okay. One moment, and I'll I'll put you on. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. It's Boris Johnson here. Ah, oh, good afternoon, Foreign Sec Secretary. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you very well. Who is that? <laughs> is that this Prime is Prime Minister. Minister Pashinyan? Pashinyan? This is yeah, Prime Minister. May I congratulate you very sincerely on your remarkable uh, your remarkable success? And uh, I, I very much hope that the uh, the UK and Armenia can can strengthen relations forthwith. And uh, we were we were watching uh, what happened, and I was particularly impressed by your role in keeping uh, the protests that took place peaceful. I think it's been a, a great success, and I congratulate you. And I want you to know that. The UK is here to to help and uh, to uh, continue on the path on uh, a democratic path. And of course, we understand the difficulty of the, the balancing act that you must do between uh, between Russia and uh, and the West. But we want to offer you all the all the advice and the and the support that we can. So, Prime Minister Pashinyan, I was just ringing to to say many congratulations. Thank you a lot, Foreign uh, Secretary, uh, and uh, let me apologize for this urgent call and uh, thank you for the time on your day off. Uh, believe me, it's it's very important for me. Uh, thank you for your congratulations, of course, and uh, so we will work well, strong. It, and it, I hope it, it seems to be a well. I thank you, and it seems to be a a notable example of a of a peaceful democratic process. Thank you. And, and uh, this uh, Thursday, I talked to Sir Duncan. We had a very fruitful talk. Alan Duncan, yes. Of course, I would like to get with a free regime with Europe. And I spoke already with the uh, president of European uh, Commission, with uh, Jean-Claude Juncker. But I understand that it's so long-term uh, prospect and we need to make many steps. And I hope that uh, the UK will help us. And you may count on our humble support for example, in the UN. Well, Prime Minister uh, Pashinyan, I'm I'm so glad to hear that, and you can you can definitely count on the UK, and I admire your vision and what you're trying to achieve. Obviously, we had hoped to uh, to have better relations with Russia than we currently do. I'm afraid that Russia seems to be unable to resist malign activity of one kind or another and we have to stand firm against them though i appreciate that your geography dictates a a balancing act and we we understand that but our our offer is there for support and uh, encouragement and uh, to develop particularly our trading and investment relationships and uh, it would be great to to welcome you to the uk uh, wh whenever that would be convenient for you, though I imagine uh, you you have a lot on your plate at the moment. At the moment. Yeah, thank you, thank you for your invitation. And uh, in a one month, I will shape new government. As you know, I have a meeting with uh, President uh, Putin in Sochi, uh, Sochi next week. I know. Yes, I need to be prepared. I hope he will not poison me with Novichok. <laughs> Well, it's very important, I think, uh, uh, Prime Minister, that we don't have a new Cold War. You know, I don't want that. Nobody in the UK wants that. It, I, I personally feel that Russia has made a terrible mistake with what they did in, in Wiltshire, what they did to try to kill Sergei and Yulia Skripal with Novichok. Their behavior uh, is, is generally very very disruptive and it's bad for russia and if i have a message to to putin is that it is you know we don't we don't want a cold war but we do want to see an improvement in the way russia behaves i agree and as you know i have a um, uh, 
I just only talk to him by telephone. Probably you know him better. What should I expect from him? Uh, how should I behave? Uh, could you give me your advice? I think the only thing that uh, the Russians respond to is, yes, I think the, the only thing the Russians respond to is, is the determination and firmness. So I think you should, you should be very clear with him about your ambitions and, and the vocation you see for Armenia. Uh, but you should stress that this, this does not amount to a threat to his interests and that he should, he should not meddle. Yeah, but you know, there is already a war in Syria, for example, and uh, you know, it's, it's not called war, but uh, the war is uh, going. And by the way, yeah. are you sure that Putin ordered to poison Skripals? Very dark story. Um, well, well I think sure. it, you are sure. Okay, I think it's not uh, yeah, in yeah. his no, no, interest. I can tell you. I can tell you. We're we're pretty we're we're, we're pretty we're like almost a hundred percent sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it is. Uh, do you think it is? Uh, it is not in his interest before the World Cup, and nobody knows that uh, Skripals. Uh, Russia finds excuses and say that uh, Britain has hired in Skripals and destroyed evidence and calls it uh, frame up. How how can we support yeah. you in this case? Well, we would be very happy to share with you uh, some more of the evidence that we that we may be able to to produce in due course. Uh, I, I, we we will we will be able to. Uh, do more to to illustrate that, but I think it's it's very important for the Russians to to know that uh, certainly the UK is absolutely determined to stand firm against them, and we will continue to tighten the squeeze on some of the oligarchs who surround Putin. I think the most effective measures that have been so far have been not just the sanctions for for Ukraine, but the the sanctions on uh, people like Mr. Deripaska and uh, and Rusal, uh, and we will continue to look at ways uh, that we can uh, tighten uh, our grip, uh, introduce fresh sanctions on those who may have. Uh, ill-gotten gains, Ill illicit uh, or illegally acquired gains uh, who are associated with Vladimir Putin. And we will continue to do that. Yeah, there are a lot of oligarchs, uh, Russian oligarchs in uh, in the UK, I know. And uh, so it's... Uh, I, I, I think them, you can find... Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you throw a stone in Kensington and you'll, you'll find you hit an oligarch. Um, so, you know... We, But some of them are close to Putin and some of them aren't. It, it takes some time. But what I saw, uh, there was no solid evidence against Russia. And the director of uh, OPCW said that uh, this gas can be produced in any country. Maybe they are, com uh, maybe they, uh, he's, he's wrong. But what do you think about new sanctions against they Russia? No, they're confirmed. It's definitely Russia. They confirmed it was a Novichok. No one else has produced a Novichok that we know of. So, you know, I, I, I have personally, I have no doubt. Okay, you know, we because we were we were uh, a part of uh, Soviet uh, Union and uh, we also had some uh, bases uh, in uh, our country in our country in Soviet period. We have some uh, documents. We also could share it uh, with you and its uh, documents regarding that. Great. Uh, that that guess so uh we researched really? uh, novichok but only in um uh, in uh, goals to create antidotes how interesting so that, so would, be, that would be very interesting well i i would love to come and see you in, in, in see you in in armenia and, and find out about that um but um we, we would certainly like to to share any information you may have about that Or, or, to, or to to find out about about uh, 
Armenia's Novichok experiences. Yeah, but I also know that um, uh, the UK also created a antidote, so uh, it's uh, opened uh, information, and so we we, the, we did the same. So if you are a search. Uh, uh, if you develop Novichok in cases to create antidote, it's legal. As I know, so uh, and, uh -huh. I, and I uh -huh. had uh, well, some we'll, documents. We'll be... uh, really, uh, really. Well, we'd certainly be very interested in seeing what you, what you have. But uh, where where are Skripals now? They are in in uh, in, in the UK or? Uh, to the best of my knowledge, they're in the UK right now. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I hope that we'll, they will be okay, everything will be okay with them. I hope so. I hope and I, so. And I, I, I'm also concerned about Mr. Trump. Iran is our neighbor, you know, and Trump's withdraw, withdrawal from the deal will make the situation even more dangerous. I talked to President Juncker. He promised to continue his mm -hmm. efforts to convince Trump not to do it, but I'm afraid it is useless. Trump... Uh, Trump won't listen to anyone, anyone maybe ex except Mr. Putin. <laughs> well, um, I don't know what communications Mr. Putin had with Mr. Trump, but certainly we were unable to persuade him uh, to keep the existing, or to keep America in the existing JCPOA, but we will do our best to keep the deal going. So the UK remains committed to the to the deal and we will we will certainly uh, want to uh, try to protect re the regional security of uh, and indeed to stop Iran securing a nuclear weapon that remains that remains our objective and, and uh, I hope we can count on your cooperation to achieve that as well yeah absolutely you could be you you can be sure that we will support and i also ready to come to the uk if i will have a time and schedule uh and um i'm also uh, worried about situation in syria now we also could uh, cooperate our uh pol politic in the in the un together to press we should definitely on, uh, do that let's do that to press on russia it's and they showed situation. we should definitely they showed some uh, like they show, showed some like evidences that a uh, boy from uh, Duma, uh, the guy who is from, uh, they showed that uh, movies from uh, Duma were, were fakes with a child. Uh, probably you know what, what was uh, mm -hmm. what was in. I, I didn't. I didn't see that, but I didn't see uh, that. But uh, but my the the. It was seemed to be very conclusive that it was uh, chlorine gas was used by the regime and and almost certainly with with Russian knowledge. And I and they they showed a video with um, bombs uh, and it was written uh, like it's it made in Salisbury. How do you think is it fake or not? Uh, I think that was fake. Yes. <laughs> well. I'm looking forward to you visit uh, to Armenia, and we can discuss all the prospects of our cooperation. By the way, I'm a fan of your poetry, your sharp uh, epigrams. I really like the one about President Erdogan. <laughs> it was bold, <laughs> fellow from Ankara. Well, you're, welcome you're, you're to our country. Kind. <laughs> welcome to you. Very kind. Thank you, Prime Minister, and, and, and thank you very much for taking the, the phone call. And uh, I look forward to, to seeing you in, in London in, in due course whenever you, whenever you find the time. I also would like to welcome to our country too, and please try our wine and shashlik. I uh, certainly shall. <laughs> and, the last, and the last thing that I would, uh, would say, I'm not sure if I should share this information because I'm not absolutely sure about As you know, I talked to Mr. Putin by telephone and he was quite open. He said that he is a very powerful man and that uh, even in the UK he has his people at power. He, he says uh, that he has influenced our the leader of uh, Labour Party, Mr. Corbyn. Really? Well... That that uh, did he tell you that? 
Yeah, he told me. Yes, he told me that. Really? What he said? He told you that that he was influencing Jeremy Corbyn. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yes. Did he did he go into any detail, or did he just say that Jeremy Corbyn was somebody he was able to influence? Well, I uh, I don't know that, but he said that uh, Mr. Putin's uh, God's daughter Ksenia Sobchak, who is a host of uh, low quality TV programs, she visited London yeah. uh, the other day and met with uh, people of Mr. Corbyn and gave them money for the Kremlin. Uh, well, I'm not sure if Putin was trying me on, but you and your intelligence uh, must be aware. On Monday in Sochi, I will try to find our details if uh, he feels free to talk. I can get in touch with you and uh, share the information. And please don't make our telephone talk yeah. public yet. Yes, so, 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 Z Zinia Sobchak. Yes, she, she, Xenia... she the person who stood against she stood against Putin in the election, didn't she? Yes, but it was a f it was a fake candidate, as you know. She's a she's <laughs> daughter of a, yeah, yeah. She's a daughter of a Sobchak. Uh, he was a uh, he was a mayor of uh, Saint Petersburg, and Putin oh, yeah, That's right. Uh, well, so uh, it's very important information, and I hope that uh, it will be confidential for us. Yes, also, I will certainly keep that confidential. Yeah, but what's so, the, Alec, what is the suggestion that Zinya Sobchak went to London? No. Yeah. The, yes, she was in London she uh, went, recently. It uh, was a meeting. She met some people from the Labour Party. Yes, as as I know, yes. I hope you will talk uh, with the intelligence to discuss and, uh, okay, and well, to I'm see what she sure did. That, um, I'm extremely interesting, Prime Minister. I, uh, as, as I'm sure our intelligence will be listening on this line, and and they will draw the the relevant con conclusions. I'm sure. Um, uh, thank you very much for that interesting tidbit of information. Um, and you know uh, what? Anyway. The, the last I I spoke with uh, with the president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko, uh, recently. Oh yes, how is he? Uh, yes, he's, he's okay, and uh, he had a meeting with the uh, Prime Minister of uh, Poland, uh, Mateusz Morawiecki, and uh, yes. it, was a, mm, it was an accident. He fell down, he, he was poisoned, but he had a special Poroshenko. antidote. He has a special antidote, he, has, uh, he, kept, he keeps it uh, with him always. Uh, antidote, you, did you hear about Opochmiel? No. It's O P O H Opochmil. O P O H M E L Opochmil. 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 Yes. So it, it it's useful, and you also could be interested in it. I just would like to advise you to use it. Maybe you will ask your uh, assistants. Hello. Hello. Something happened.